In this lesson, we're going to get you started reading notes. Yay! This is the path to being able to read music, to be able to play songs, and to be able to play classical pieces. So we're getting started today reading notes on a staff. Follow along with me on page 11. You can print it out or you can just take a look at it on one of your devices. Let's talk about what the staff is. The staff is five lines and the four spaces in between them. There are two staves in piano. There is the treble staff and there's the bass staff. Let's talk about the treble first. Treble means two things. One, it means that you're gonna play the notes on this staff with your right hand. It's the higher notes on the piano, the notes that are to the right, those are written on the treble staff. Another name for the treble clef is the G clef. There has been a whole evolution of how we got to the G clef looking like this. And it just sort of started off as a G put on the second line from the bottom on the upper staff. This is the lower, this is the upper. So this is a G clef. You can call it a treble clef if that's what you called it when you were a child, if you took piano lessons, but also think about it as a G clef. You can kind of see the G in here and it's circling around the second line, which is the G line. And you might ask me, well, which G is that? We know that there's a lot of G's on the keyboard and it's always going to be the G that's above middle C. And that's called G4. If you count from the bottom of a full keyboard, you will see that that's the fourth G from the bottom. And so that's G4. I use these numbers in the book just for reference so you can remember where it is. G4 would be above middle C. G3 would be the G below middle C, G3, G2, etc. But it's not so important that you remember the number. It is important that you remember that G is here. So I'm going to write my G clef to remind you that G is right here. So the way that a staff works, if you put it on its side like this, you would see that the notes go up to the right and down to the left, just like on the keyboard. That's what it's referencing. A G note would be right here, second line from the bottom. And the way that it moves is line, space, line, space, line, space. The letters move up by line, space, line, space. So this is a G. On the space would be an A. The line would be a B. The space would be a C. D, E, F, G, and so on. So that just keeps going up the keyboard. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That would be G5 here. G5, and this is G4. Similarly, if you move down the keyboard, line, space, line, space, it moves down. So we just played, this is G4, this is the G above middle C, one space below that is an F, E, D, I like to say that D kisses the bottom of the staff to remind you that that's a D, and then we have something called ledger lines to extend the staff. As I said before, you can't fit all of the 88 keys on one staff or even two. So we extend it with these ledger lines. So this is just like another staff line. So this is middle C. Middle C is easy to remember what it looks like because it's got this ledger line right through the center of it. So that is true whether it is a whole note or a half note, a quarter note, dotted half, any of that. Middle C always looks like this. It always has a ledger line through it. So we've got C, D, E, F, G. Now let's take a look at the bass staff. The bass also tells you two things. Number one, these are the notes that are going to be played with your left hand. They are also the lower notes on the keyboard, the notes that are to the left. And it tells you 
that this line that's right between the two dots is the F line. So this was originally something a little bit simpler. An F clef might have started something like that, like that, like that. So think of this as the F clef, also known as the bass clef, and it is indicating between its two dots, the F that's below middle C. That's F3, F3. The numbers always start with an A. So we've got an F3, that is the F below middle C. F3, G3, A4, B4, C4. As I said, the numbers aren't that important. We'll be using them just to reference to help you to remember which G on the piano or which F on the piano, etc. Okay, so we've got the F clef and we've got the G clef. This is the first line, second, third. F is on the fourth line and that's the fifth line. And same with the treble staff. We number from bottom to top. So G is on the second line from the bottom. F is on the fourth line from the bottom. Now, piano is one of the few instruments that uses both clefs, both the G clef and the F clef. So we have something called the grand staff, which means it encompasses both the G clef and the F clef. They are linked together with a bar line. We call this a bar line and something called a brace. It's got a brace and a bar line, and that together is the grand staff. And we use two hands for the grand staff. 